Patients with, with CLL have a very good prognosis, but once these patients are relapsed or refractory to modern targeted therapy like BTK inhibitors, they have a very bad uh, outcomes. And even worse, uh, prognosis have these CLL patients where they have a transformation to Richter syndrome. Uh, again, these, these patients um, have a chance of achieving CR of around 20% with conventional immunochemotherapy. So uh, they're all patients with an unmet medical need. So here's where we are trying to provide CAR T-cell therapy to these patients and we have been treating patients with our own uh, locally manufactured uh, academic CAR T-cell, which is part of Camtatin Autolusol or RE1 cells. And uh, the truth is we have been treating uh, a small amount of patients, around 20 uh, patients. All there were very high risk patients as for cytogenetics, CLL, IPI, a tumor burden. And the, 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 the question is, uh, does CAR T cell work in CLL and, and risk of transformation and in a comparable way to other uh, commercial CAR T cells in, in approved indications? So there's this fear that CAR T cells don't work as good in patients with CLL because of the well-known T-cell dysfunction that characterize these patients. But the truth is, uh, we have treating, uh, we have been treating these patients and we have seen a safety profile that seems to remain in line. Uh, we have seen a, a rate of 90% of all grade CRS, but it has been severe in only 11% per, uh, of patients. And as for ICANS, we only have seen mild ICANS in 11 patients and no severe case. Uh, and again, no treatment related mortality. And as for efficacy, which is uh, the most important part we have seen an overall response rate in the CLL compound of around 90% being MRD negative in 80% of patients. And for the patients that had Richter's, we also saw an overall response rate of around 8% and a complete response rate of around 60. So in the overall, we have been seen in, in, the, in the, the, the patients with C, either with CLL with or without Richter's of a 60% complete uh, response rate. And the most shocking part of this is that most of the patients that achieve complete remission uh, don't seem to be relapsing. So the hardest part is to achieve remission, but the ones who achieve remission have a progression free survival of the whole patient to the, uh, of around 3.7 years. So it's encouraging to us to see that the quality and the ratio of response uh, seems to be in line with the ones we have been seeing in other uh, malignancies.